Broadcasting from the Jaguar Studio in the heart of Blue Springs South High School. This is award-winning Jag TV. Hello. Welcome to Jag TV. I'm Donald Kelly. And I'm Carly Baldus. Even though it doesn't feel like fall, Fall Fun Fest is still right around the corner. Here's Natalie with the exciting details with this year's Fall Fun Fest. Fall Fun Fest has been going on for over 40 years. One would think it'd be hard to continue to change it up every year and keep things fun for all ages. The Chamber of Commerce Director fills us in. You know, we have a lot of great events this year. We have a Boy Scout rock climbing wall that'll be free of charge. We also have Pinewood Derby race cars that you can build and race at Fest. Um, we have our parade that we have every year, um, and it'll have lots of great entries and things in. Fall Fun Fest was created as a way to bring the community together and get advertisement for local businesses and creators in, the Blue, in Blue Springs. There's also a community stage every year with talented bands, musicians, and even magic acts. Fall Fun Fest is run by both the city's Chamber of Commerce and volunteers. One of the head volunteers gives us some information about why he became involved in the Fall Fun Fest and more. I started volunteering as a way to get out in the community and meet new people and grow my business. Um, since then, I've met hundreds of people and it's really helped me grow and really just get to know people that I have became friends with and also help out the community. Fall Fun Fest is a family-friendly community event that is welcome to people of all ages. This year there will be a kids zone, carnival, and a special needs area for all children attending. And don't worry, the annual car show is back again this year. Fall Fun Fest is going to be a great time this weekend. Hope to see you all there. I'm Natalie Burkett, JAG TV. Thanks Natalie. I'm excited to go to this year's festival. Did you know there's a new media outlet for JAGs to view school events from the comfort of their own home? Derek is in the studio to tell you how to access this new feature. This year, the JAG TV network is stepping up its game, and it's allowing you a new service where you can view South activities as they unfold. I caught up with Mr. Bublow from the district to learn more. Well, this is the first year we've had JAG TV stream our home football games, and we're also going to stream several other events, including the... Uh, Dig for the Cure Pink game, volleyball game, and some basketball games later in the year, and, and band day activities here at South. And what we hope to do is reach some people who can't always come to the activities. Grandparents, parents who travel and work on the road, uh, friends and relatives. We hope to get the, the uh, Jags on TV, and so for a small fee, people can go online, watch the games that are being played, and really enjoy uh, Jaguar activities without having to be at those activities. The, the fee actually goes back into the activities programs here at South, especially we're going to target Jag TV right at the beginning to help them purchase more equipment to make the telecasts even better each, each year. So we're excited about it. We know that uh, Mr. Grigsby and his, his students are doing a great job. We hope you'll tune in to, to JAG TV online and, and watch Jaguar activities. We think you're really going to enjoy it. We're really excited to offer this new feature. Make sure you go to jagnewsonline.com. Back to you, Carly. My name is Jack Gillig. I'm Melanie Roberts. And we're from Senate. And uh, so we're talking about homecoming. And uh, for the Spirit Days, for the week of homecoming, uh, Monday we have Sports Day, which is basically any sports shirt uh, can be a jersey, a hat, if you, or you can go all out in a full uniform if you want. Tuesday is just homies day, match with your friend. Wednesday we don't have school. Thursday is sail away from home and you dress like you're going to the beach since our theme is seize the night for homecoming. Fr Friday is no place like home. Wear sea of blue, so wear a blue t-shirt. I hope to see a lot of fun and creative spirit wear next week. Speaking of creative things, here's Carissa with the Mud Throwers Club. They see me rolling, they hate it. If you are ever feeling like you want to make bowls or pottery, Mud Throwers is the place for you. Mud Throwers is a club basically for students to be able to come and be creative. Uh, we do clay projects, we work on bowls for souls. Um, it's just a place where students can be safe and be artistic and come and have fun. One of the great things about Mud Throwers is that it's not hard to join. 
The only thing you have to do is walk in and grab an apron. Yeah, it's really fun to be in this club and be a part of it. Sometimes you can go and wheel throw or you can just grab a slava clay and make whatever you feel like making. Everything's welcome. The main goal for them is to make bowls for Bowls for Souls and sell them at the Blue Spring South versus Blue Spring South games. Mud throwers will meet the first and third Wednesday of every month in room 204 with Miss Martin in the art department. I'm Carissa Alford with JAG TV. Back to you. Thanks, Carissa. It looks like a really fun club to be a part of. After the break, we'll find out where the band is headed to this weekend, and then we'll catch up on some reminders. I remember when I started painting the Sistine Chapel, people thought I was crazy. They were like, Mike, you can't spend four years painting a ceiling. And I was like, you can now. Just like this morning when I went to Chick-fil-A for breakfast, people were like, you can't eat chicken for breakfast. And I was like, you can now. Turns out the new egg white grill is delish. So you know who's not crazy? That guy. Chicken for breakfast. It's not as crazy as you'd think. Try the new egg white grill from Chick-fil-A. in Blue Springs is a state-of-the-art facility with nearly 50,000 square feet for your might, mind, and strength. Free weight room, free motion equipment, and cardio equipment. More than 40 award-winning classes to choose from. Personal training to help you stay on track. Extensive group X-class schedule. Hot tub, dry sauna, steam room, racquetball courts, and indoor track. There's even yoga, spin classes, and a boxing studio. Not only is Club 7 affordable, but get this, they offer students and teacher discounts. The ultimate fitness experience awaits you, so go by and check them out today. Club 7 Fitness is located on the south side of Blue Springs, right behind Culver's. Find out more on their website, club7fitness.com. Welcome back, Jags. Our Jaguar pride is going to Powder Springs, Georgia to compete in the Bands of America Regional. They will compete against bands from all states across the southeast region, like South Carolina, Florida, Mississippi, and Alabama. Last year, they competed in Tennessee and they placed fourth. This year, they plan to take home the title of regional champ. We wish all of our Jaguar pride good luck. Now here's Kirsten with some reminders. Hey Jags, on the 13th, Earn Six and Debate is having a parent meeting in the Hall of Fame room at six. Seniors, I hope you're ready. The 19th is college planning night at 6.30. I know everyone is gonna be happy on the 21st. No school for professional development day. 22nd is homecoming parade at 5.30. Get your hats, because homecoming game starts at seven. Hope your grades are good. The 23rd is the end of the first grading period. Guys, get your tux and girls, get your dresses. On the 24th is your homecoming dance at seven. Think your pictures are bad? Don't worry. The 18th, uh, sophomores and juniors can retake pictures. That's it for reminders. I'm Kirsten Goshi. Now to Isaiah with what's happening outside our school. Hey Jags, you might have noticed the big construction off of Adams Dairy and R.D. Myers Road right behind Target. Well, St. Luke's Health System plans on building a two-story, 36,000 square foot clinic. According to Bob Bonney, St. Luke's Senior Vice President of Non-Acute Services and Development, this particular project has been under consideration for the past year and a half, so keep an eye out for development. For all those Chiefs fans that plan on heading out to a game this season, you will have more and different food choices, including the linebacker burger, which is included with chili, cheddar cheese, grilled onions, and a bun that has a Chiefs logo on. Uh, one of the weirdest and new ones will be the chocolate bacon blitz pizza, which has peanut butter, chocolate fudge sauce, bacon, and Reese's peanut butter cup on a pizza crust. Yeah. If you're bold enough to go try that, go to the club level with the Primo stands on 228 and 204 and you can find that. More on state news, 
The University of Missouri football team plans to build a new practice facility and it was boosted by a $10 million donation from Kansas City Sports Trust. So keep a lookout for new additions coming to Mizzou's camp. In national news, on last Thursday's NFL kickoff game between the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers, the trend that San Francisco quarterback Colin Kaepernick started of kneeling during the national anthem continued as Denver linebacker Brandon Marshall knelt, knelt during the national anthem before that game. Even with major, major backlash from fans and other Americans, team owners and league executives are giving no repercussions to players that protest. Thank you. That is it for your local, state, and national news. Until next week, Sarnara Jaguars. This is Isaiah Jackson with Jag TV. Next up is Blake Isaacson, who will fill you in on all Jag sports. Nationally known barbecue and is located right here in our own backyard, Plowboys in Blue Springs. Plowboys is not only the best barbecue in Kansas City area, but was voted by USA Today in having the best burnt-in sandwich in the country. They are locally owned and operated. They are always looking for local great help with their restaurant. So if you're 16 and older and you need that great job, whether it be full-time or part-time, this is a great place to work. Apply today at Plowboys. Go to their website, download the application, plowboysbbq.com. And if you're in the mood for the best tasting barbecue around for lunch or dinner, then come on by to Plowboys located Southside 7 near CVS in Blue Springs. Hey Jags, Matt Mitchell down at Culver's. How's it going? Welcome back to school. Hey, it's Culver's and it's spirit wear time, right? It's football season. Of course you know that. You're the state champs. So on Friday nights from 5 o'clock to close, come into your favorite Culver's restaurant, wear your hats that say Jags, wear your shirts that say Jags, we're going to give you 10% off your entire purchase. Try a Sunday. Try a concrete mixer. All made fresh. So again, spirit wear nights are Friday nights from 5 o'clock to close. There will always be reasons to celebrate, so why not celebrate with your own custom designed shirt? Big Frog is the perfect place. Design that shirt yourself with the help of in-store professionals with no minimum orders, no setup and artwork fees, and only a 24-hour turnaround. Think about it, your own shirts for your own group of friends, team wear, parties, clubs, fundraisers, school spirit, or even for your own local business. So come on in, let Big Frog help you design your own custom shirt located just off I-70 Blue River Road next to Jimmy John's in Independence. Website is bigfrog.com slash independence. Big Frog, where fun is always celebrated. down 27 that's how much they've got to go Sprouse is going to throw finds a man wide open Swanigan takes it in for the touchdown outstanding execution he put the ball right September 2nd Blue Spring South varsity football grabs their first win at home against Lee Summit North 31 to 13 the Jags are now one and two and will try to capitalize on their win as they travel away for the next two games until they come back to face Ray Peck on homecoming weekend. The quarterback, they'll snap it directly to Frost, to the five, dives to the corner, and is in for the touchdown. South softball battled longtime rival Blue Springs on Tuesday the 6th, winning 4-3. to three. The game was a close one, with Bailey Fowler and Maddie Hecker hitting RBIs that would cause the score to be 3-3 three to three in the eighth inning, as Eden Tolliver's double set the Jags ahead for the win at Jim Cohen Field. Volleyball is undefeated with a record of 11-0-1, defeating Lee Summit West on Tuesday, 2-0, and Lee Summit on Thursday, again with the score of 2-0. Varsity Swimming has finished first in their most recent event, scoring 601 points, with Nick Keller qualifying for state. Congrats to all the teams and the athletes here at South. Keep up the great work. I'm Blake Isaacson with JAG TV. Back to you. Thanks, Blake. Have you ever forgotten a charger or maybe need a quick snack? Well, Luke is here to tell you where you can get all that and more. Here in the Jagden, you can buy school spirit, school materials, and also food and drinks. Well, like, it's a lot of choices here, and it's a good price for everything. It's not, like, expensive. The Jagden is open before school and during the lunch passing times. As you can see here in the Jagden, we have a wide variety of snacks, but they all meet the health guidelines for the school. I'm Luke Province for Jag TV, back to you guys in the studio. There are so many things in the Jagden. Yeah, and they seem pretty useful. Well, that wraps up another edition of Jag TV. Be sure to follow us on Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Just go to jagnewsonline.com and sign up. I'm Carly Baldus. And I'm Donald Kelly. Have a great week. Follow us on Facebook.
Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. Go to jagnewsonline.com and sign up today.